40 divided by 4.8 into 78 plus question mark equals to 1480. Let, let us write it properly. I mean, 40 divided by 4.8 into 78 plus what? We give you 1480 is the question. Right? Now, this is like this uh, you know, 4 into 10, 4 into 1.2. 4 into 12 is 48, so 4 into 1.2 will be 4.8. Okay? So, 10 by 1.2 into 78, or maybe. You, you can you know skip this decimal here, right? You can say multiply both numerator and denominator by hundred. So hundred by twelve into seventy eight. You get it? Hundred by twelve. It was ten by one point two. We have taken it as hundred by twelve into seventy eight. Or you can say fifty by six also, right? Whichever way you take it. Now I will say twelve into one, and this is twelve into six point five. So six point five into hundred, six fifty, six fifty. Plus question mark is fourteen eighty. So what will be the question mark? Question mark will be 1480 minus 650. Again, 80 minus 50, 30, 140, uh, 1400 minus 600, 800. So 800 plus 30, 830, option 5. Square root of, the square root of 915849 plus square root of 795664. Okay, so let us represent this properly first. He is asking us to find out the square root of, square root of 915, 849 plus the square root of 795 double 664 equals to what now options have not been given here uh, but if options are given maybe we could have used the unit digit method and mark the answer directly right maybe uh, i mean it all depends on the options if the options are given uh, in a way that we can eliminate three four of them directly using unit place method then nothing like it right or or maybe by uh, you know, root, digital root method or some other technique there, right? Approximations, etc. But because options are not given here, I'll have to do the complete solution. So let me just explain how do we do it. It's, it's basically the same thing that we have learned in uh, the speed maths video and the simplifications video, right? See, there are three steps here. First, find out the square root of 915849. Then find out the square root of 795664. Then add these two terms and find out the square root of whatever result you get here. You getting it but the question is how do you find out the square root like like the first term here right the first step find out the square root of 915849 now the finding out square root has been discussed in speed math right there are three steps follow the same three steps and get the required answer so what do we do step number one here look at the last digit the number here ends in nine when a number ends in nine you know that the square root of that will either end in three or it will end in 7. So, there are two possibilities. The answer either ends in 3 or ends in 7. Moreover, the one thing that you'll have to observe here is there are 6 digits in the number here. So, the number of steps would remain the same, but we'll have to do, uh, you know, some complex uh, calculations. Not like the simple ones that we had discussed through the videos or that are usually asked in the bank exams. So, 915849, first step is look at the last digit 9. Right? When the number is 9, the square root will either end with 3 or 7. Two possibilities. And because there are 6 digits, you know that the result will be a 3 digit number. Right? The square root here will be a 3 digit number. It will minimum be a 3 digit number. I mean, start with. Now, first step is over. What is the second step? The second step that we had discussed was, we have to leave the last 2 digits. Forget about the last 2 digits. Look at the remaining part of the number. 9158. Now, what is the highest square less than 9158? What is the highest square less than 9158? See, I mean, this again, that's what I said. This step is going to be a little complex. Finding out the highest square less than 9158. Generally, what do we have? We have some two-digit number or three-digit number here. Like, for example, only 158 is there, let's say. Let us assume that 9 is not there. Only 158 is there. So, if only 158 is there, the highest square less than 158 is how much? It will be 121. Or 144, sorry, 12 square 144. So that's easy. But because it is a four digit number, you'll have to do a little bit of calculation. Now we know that, uh, you know, it, you, you have to just do it uh, mentally. It's, it's simple, actually. See, 90 squared is 8100, right? But this is more than 8100, right? What is 95 square? 95 square? 95 square is 9025. We have discussed all this in the video, right? How to find out squares of numbers ending in 5. 90 to 1090. Append with 25, 9025. Now you see, 9025 is very close to 9158. In fact, I can say that the highest square less than 9158, the highest square less than 9158 is 9025. Because after 95, what will come? 96. Any idea what is 96 square? 96 square will be 9025 plus 95 plus 96. It will be more than 9158. 
definitely more than 915. So 96 is ruled out. I'll have to consider 95 only. So I can say that the highest square less than 9158 is 9025 and hence the result here would be 95 because 9025 is 95 square. So we have to put 95. That's it. This is the second step. And now the third step, you know, what is the third step? Find out which of these two is correct. Is, is the answer 953 or 957? How do we do that? Take the number that comes exactly between 953 and 957. Right? What comes between 953 and 957? 955. Any, I mean, always it will be the number that ends in 5. So 953, 957, exactly in the middle we have 955. Find out 955 square. What will be 955 square? Same method. When a number ends in 5, the square always ends in 25. So put 25. Take the remaining part of the number, multiply by the next number. So it will be 95 into 96. 95 into 96. How much is 95 into 96? See, 95 into 95 is 9025. 95 into 96 will be 9025 9, plus 95. So 9025 plus 95 will be 9120. So I think it will be 91025. 912025. Now compare the given number 915849 with 912025. Is it more or less? We can see that 915849 is more than 912025. Is more than 912025. So the answer should be more. Answer should be more than 955. Which is more than 955? 957. Hold on. So I can conclude that the first step here, square root of 915849 is 957. Same thing you have to do for the second step also, which is finding out the square root of 795664. Now I'll not waste uh, explaining in detail, ex waste my time explaining in detail, right? See, this method is already known to us. I'm just doing the same thing for a bigger number. So what's the first step? Number ends in 4. So answer will either end in 2 or it will end in Eight. Second step, forget about 64, look at 7956, right? So what is the highest square less than 7956? See again, 90 square, we know that it is 8100. This is less than 8100, right? 7956. So try 89 square. See, looks like it is close. 8100 and 7956 are very close. Only 104 is the difference. So I'm sure 89 will satisfy. What is 89 square? 10,000 minus 2,200. It will be 7,800 plus... Uh, uh, 121 right so 7921 7921 yes 7956 7921 so the highest square less than 7956 is 7921 which is 89 square so I would say this will be 89 892 or uh, 898 you're getting it right 892 or 898 now we have to find out which of these two is correct in the third step now third step can be done in multiple ways already in the previous uh, square root we have taken the middle number 955 and found the square and then compare with the number this time i think we can do it in a smarter way see very clearly uh, 7956 is close to 8100 so answer should be closer to 90 and 89 is closer to 90 when compared to i mean i mean answer should be closer to 900 basically see if you say 79560 79500 you know that this is very close to 810000 right so answer should be closer to 900, which is 898. Or do the same thing again. Find out 895. The middle number is 895, right? Take 895 square. How much will be 895 square? 89 into 90. So that's like 90 into 90 minus, uh, you know, 89 into 1. 89 into 90, right? So 90 should be taken 89 times. So take 90 times, subtract 1 time. Right? Anyway, number ends in 5, square ends in 25. How much is 89 into 90? You, you are able to follow, right? Same, like 95 into 96 we are done here. We'll do 89 into 90. How much is 89 into 90? Uh, 90 into 90 minus 90 into 1. How much is that? 8100 minus 90. So, 8000. Right. And, and you know that uh, this square is 801025. Oh, sorry. I think our previous estimation was wrong because here we find that the given number uh, 795664 is less than 801025 right if it is less answer should also be less than 895 so less than 895 is 892 this gets cancelled all right so in both the steps you just go by the regular method that we have discussed right the third step of finding out square root done now what's the third step replace replace this with 957 and this with 892 so the question mark will be equal to square root of 957 plus 892 which is equal to square root of see it's like 957 plus 900 1857 1857 minus 8 1849 and what is the square root of 1849 again finding out square root we have discussed three-step process right 
I mean that's what we have been doing. So when number is 1849, number ends in 9, uh, answer will be 3 or 7 and less than 18 is 43 or 47. 45 square is uh, you know 2025 right. This number is less than 2025 so answer should be less than 45 which is 43. 47 gets eliminated. So question mark will be equal to 43. 43 is the final answer. You getting it? So 43 is the answer for this question.